lecture I am going to discuss about how to connect MySQL database with Azure Data Studio. So first here opening the Azure Data Studio. Then after the next is here you can see there is the extension is there. So you need to go on this extension this place you need to search MySQL. Then there you can see MySQL extension for Azure Data Studio. So you need to click on this install button. So it install. Oh uh, no, it's installing. Download from this uh, GitHub site and uh, uh, this all is now currently it's going on. Install MySQL service. Now thereafter, I'm going to open the MySQL workbench. So my SQL workbench there I am going to open. Now you can see local instance root that is user. This is the host and uh, local host and this is the port number and uh, you need to give the password. User is the root. So it's uh, connected and now you can see here this is the list of database inside database. These tables are present there. Now I'm going to close this and thereafter opening Azure data once again. Then you can see the option create connection. Click on this create connection. So here my S Microsoft SQL server is there. Now you can see my SQL that's also come there. You need to give the server name that is local host and to here you can connect authentication type you can connect with the password as your or as your activity directory now thereafter let's give here root and the give the password then click the drop downs of database you can see there are list of database connecting with the sakila and when you give all the correct information click on this connect so it's connected and here you can see list of or table stats come there. So when I go on this workbench, this all tables that's now inside the Azure Data Studio. After that, click on this database, Sekilo user. Now, if you want to see the details about the films, click there. Right click, select top thousand. So here you can see this is the records inside the film. So here top thousand records that's displaying. Now thereafter right click you can edit do some editing also. So whatever you want to do some changes you can do so easily inside the Azure Data Studio. So this is the most simplest way we can connect Azure Data Studio with the MySQL. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.